Live on Facebook, Chase, are you sure? Thirsty Thursday. Shit. I think Chase is worried. Boom. Don't tell Chase that he's he's worried too easily. But it is valid that he's worried. Mitch, what's going on? What is up, guys? It is throw it out there Thursday. So anybody who goes live or wants to ask us a question. Most certainly can. If you go live, you get a free t-shirt, so don't forget to mention that. <clears throat> we got something cool. We got something cool that's coming out that we're working on um, here very soon, but we also got somebody back that I'm sure you guys have missed for a couple episodes, I'd say. We also got someone missing. Mm. And we do have somebody missing, yes, Mr. Steve is not here, but we have Justin Smith back. Oh, hi, thanks. Thanks, Mitch, appreciate it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sorry I was gone, but I was having a good time. I'm not gonna tell you what I was doing, but it was fun, I know that. That's for sure. Top secret. Very Chase, uh, jail. <laughs> Chase, um, how was it with me not around here, you know, cracking a whip? Uh, you know, it was a little different. It was kind of, yeah, we missed you next door. No, no, tell the truth. Were you late every day? No, I actually, I was not. I have been early. Josh? It's been kind of weird. Josh? Unfortunately, True. can confirm <laughs> I was on time. What? I sat at your desk a couple times. So did Come Ari. On, dude, I'm did, sorry. Did he pay you for that? <laughs> Shame. Shame. <laughs> Plug right there. <laughs> yeah. You paid him, didn't you, to no, say that? <laughs> I've been showing up early. You know, when the boss is out at play, someone else has to hold down the fort, and you know, your office, that chair is so nice, Justin. You are sitting at my desk? Once or twice, <laughs> baby. You <are> seriously <laughs> fired now. There's something wrong with your keyboard. <laughs> Hashtag no chase. <laughs> Hashtag never use the boss's desk. Okay, yeah. cool. Right. <laughs> Tube sock is not smeckled again. He is just out for the day today. So yeah, so yeah. Steve's knows. just out. It's temporary. No big deal. He'll be back. <laughs> um, we're we're here for you, Steve. Just yeah. just saying. Um, so what do we got going on today, boys? There's something crazy with these cars behind us. Um, are we trying to make some, invent some new wheels? Yeah, new wheels. Good, good point, Chase. Flat uh, wheels make the world go round. Yeah, um, nothing that a, a, you know, a little bit of quarter inch billet can't fix. It's kind of Flintstone <coughs> themed, if you ask me. Do you think that these wheels would survive, Chase? Maybe, maybe with you driving, I doubt it. If we anybody else. Maybe though. if we went to like Antarctica, Alaska, oh, skis? somewhere in the ice, right? They're say, not too half Ant bad, actually. Ant we could Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> you know my aunt, aunt? Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> do you have an aunt named Antarctica? I do. She lives very far north or south, one of the two. So before we ever actually get into get into what we're going to talk <laughs> about today, which is actually pretty cool, measuring up a little bit of toe and uh, dealing with some uh, geometry issues on Turbo S's and curing that, I think that maybe we should go back to the Antarctica, Chase. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've, got, we've got something special for you and that is, I think on a, every episode we're going to actually come up with some of your Chase-isms <laughs> and we're going to let everybody know what they are. Oh God. So you have to speak up, I think, Josh. Just one, okay. Josh. <clears throat> All right, well, to start things off, we have a pretty inappropriate one, but I love R. Kelly. I don't care if he pisses on little girls. He makes great music, people. Look, that's a chase, that, it. those are hits. That's a chase quote? <laughs> Once, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe I've said it before. Learning curve, we have, uh, it's just a learning curve. Curb, C-U-R-B. It's when life stops, learning. Mm. Oh, this is a fantastic one. Uh, your girlfriend should be pumped on this one. I was choking Ryder the other day, and I was like, oh shit, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, by the way, Ryder is his son. Uh, he's a great kid. He's going to be strong. I think we'll save the others for later. Okay, three but of them. With that being said, I have a live them, one here. Three of them per episode. That's what we're going to do. What do you got? What's going on, sir? Where are you at? What's your question? What are you driving? Uh, 21 uh, Max with the Smart Shocks. Right on. Smart Shocks Max. Um, so... Can I put IQS on top of Smart Shocks and how will that um, improve? Absolutely, you can do that. So, right now with Smart Shocks, you have three adjustments. If you put the uh, IQS system on top of that, it will not detract from anything that the computer does, but what it will give you is basically 12 adjustments. Right, Mitch? Nine. 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 I'm sorry, my yeah. math is off. Yep. Um, I'm, I got Chase math for a second, I apologize, <laughs> but <laughs> you're going to end up going from three adjustments to nine adjustments, so you can really fine-tune it as much as you want. 
Um, we've done that quite a bit over here. We've done all of our testing on it. It's amazing. Uh, Savino Shop Car is, has that on it as well. Okay. All right, man. So now, as far as Glam is, you guys have a, I'm in all the way in San Francisco, so it's a drive to go down where you got that. Yep. So, oh, you still there, bud? What was your question? Yeah, do you yeah. do about Glamis specifically? Do you want to know when we're out there? Pacific. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. We have another chase on, uh, just now, and that was Pacifically. <laughs> Uh, would that be because you're on the Pacific Coast chase, or yeah. <laughs> are you what? just oh, have a little bit of a lisp? <laughs> little, little, little lisp. So what's your question? We didn't, uh, we misunderstood you. What are you asking about Glamis? Specifically. As far as Glamis, I'm all the way in San Francisco, so it will take me about 13 to 14 hours to drive down there. So do you guys have a date yet for Glamis or not yet? I so, do for Glamis. Yeah, so um, we don't have the schedule listed exactly which dates. But you can always count on us being there for Halloween. We're usually there the week prior to Halloween. And we try to combine this, that trip with uh, Camp Razor, which is usually starting the week before Halloween. So if you look at the calendar for 2022 and you pick at least two days before Halloween's date, we're gonna be there no matter what. Um, we're not taking scheduled appointments for that yet. Um, but Ernie, you know what? We we might as well kind of look at the calendar for next year yep. and, and get yeah, that up and that. Let, let the guys kind of get ahead of it. Yep. So, like so I told you the other day, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I mean, so it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But we're not. We don't have the itch to go back yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're still. We're still scratching yeah. from the last time we were yeah. there. Um, but how about this? Give us one week, and the guys up in the front, when you call and schedule your appointment, we'll have the dates nailed down for you. Okay. Well, if you have four cars, you do them all at the same time, we'll give you hook you up with a deal. So call the guys in the front office and give us one week and we'll have all the schedule nailed down for you. <laughs> all right, hey, thanks for calling in, man. Let us know your t-shirt size and color. We'll get it to you. Right on. Have a good one, Dan. <clears throat> all righty. All right, back to what we're talking about, or at least what we were thinking we we're going to talk about. So, hey, Chase, back up about 15 feet. Uh, specifically, 15 <laughs> feet, uh, not five, thank you. Okay, <laughs> if you guys can see what we got going on here, we got two Turbo S's. One Turbo S is uh, lifted up to uh, droop, that's full extension. And the one over here on the left is fully compressed. What we've got are alignment plates, and these alignment plates allow us to measure toe. What is toe? If you're looking straight down on top of the front tires, toe is the tire angled towards himself in the front or wider in front and narrower in the back. That measurement is toe. I say that because a lot of people confuse that with overall width. We tell them, hey, go measure the width of the tire at ride height and drooped. We're not talking about the width between them. What we're talking about the, is the difference between the front and the rear of them. So if you look at this one, it's got tape measures on it. Chase. <coughs> Maybe, come over here. What we're doing is we're measuring the distance in the front tire width. This one is just a little bit more than 61 and a half inches. If you look at this tape, I'm not sure if Chase can actually see that or not. Oh, I got it. But take a look at this rear one. This rear one is almost 64 inches. So Thank if my that. Chase math is correct, that's about three and a half inches of toe in. It's narrower in the front than it is in the back. So we would adjust that, we would bring the back inward, we'd bring the front outward, and we'd try and set that to about a quarter inch of toe in. <laughs> Mitch, you got something really good, I, I bet. Uh, people are just loving the fact that you're back on the show, John. <laughs> Why, <laughs> because all. I'm just making fun of Chase? No, 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 no. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Um, next time, no, no, I'm not gonna say that. No. I will say I was say gonna say something really, awfully, really bad for a second, but I'm gonna stay out of that. You did do an awfully fine job, Mitch. The whole time we did have just. I thought so. I thought that. I, I thought you guys killed it. Honestly, you guys. Fine. Awfully you know, fine. Uh, off, <laughs> you're awfully fine. Awfully. <laughs> awfully. Is it another one, Chase? I'm gonna stop talking to you. <laughs> awfully. Guys now. Don't worry. <laughs> really? We've been trying <laughs> to get that done forever. You Don't know, worry, here's another working. thing. I'm gonna make Ernie really embarrassed you real quick. So, Ernie's really, really bad on camera. Normally. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. He hates I everything hate about this, but when I was gone, he stepped in and killed it. So if we keep um, everything Adam technical, so. if, if it's technical, yeah. then you kill it. Yeah. You're, you're I'm just not that right? entertaining. 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> you're you're so full of shit, too, because as, as soon as you turn the camera off, he's a riot. Yeah, well. Plus he's at the dunes driving that X3. Um, so, back to toe. Not even sure what you're talking about, Chase. That meant nothing. I have no idea what you're Ernie's entertaining. He's, he's in the car at the dunes. He's throwing down every time. You know what's really, really entertaining? He's one of my stunt doubles. That t-shirt oh. right there. I mean, that says it all. It kind of covers everything about what we deal with. The only with. purple shirt we've ever made, people. <laughs> this is true. So you are Which special. means you finally did laundry. <laughs> yes. It's been okay. a long time. Or got a chick back. <laughs> oh, one yeah, she's doing two. laundry. Yeah, you guys <laughs> are out of something. So. This is why you guys are engineers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to toe, you guys. So uh, toe is the difference between the front of the tires width-wise and the back of the tires width-wise. We try to measure them at their <clears throat> longest point or widest point or um, at the bulge of the tire might be the easiest place to measure that. This toe set or toe measurement should be checked all the way drooped out like this one. It should be checked roughly at ride height, which I don't have an example for you, and it should be checked all the way bumped out. And that is this Turbo S right here. Chase, that's not where you film me. This right here, yep, that's what you film right there when I say, hey, it's right here. So <laughs> Turbo S on the ground, that is what you wanna measure. Now, the difference between completely drooped, let's say it's towed in, and completely bumped might be towed out, there might be a four or five inch difference between those two. That is what we're trying to cure. That is called bump steer. Toe change through cycle comes right back into the wheel and you feel it as feedback and you also feel it as an uneven or un unstable uh, driving of your UTV is what you feel. Ernie, you got something good. What is it? Um, I don't really have much. I got uh, Peter Quaid saying that uh, you've got a pretty good tan going on. Oh, thank you. Um, you should see my and, ass. Yeah. <laughs> Caribbean islands, maybe? Uh, definitely not Caribbean. I told you I'm not telling you what I did. <laughs> I, I'm like, out. I like what Brad as F said. Ernie kills it at being a porn star on camera. Give the dude a break. As well as Johnny2175. <laughs> what I happens died. when you have camel toe, he wants to know. When you and have camel toe on your UTV? Yeah. A tape measure is not going to cure that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Mike Dubs, of course, he chimes in. That chase still smells. You're probably not wrong, Mike Dubs. No, I think Mike Dubs is right. You get a t-shirt. Another one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Mitch. Um, hey, good question. I got oh, a good sorry. question. Okay, what do you got? So, um... <sighs> Jeremy Deal is asking why we do quarter in instead of zero at ride height. Okay, so here's the reason for that. Um, a quarter of an inch in or a quarter of an inch out loads the suspension, all the joints in one direction. Zero allows a little bit of play in one rod end and a, another joint, uh, a, a, an upper control arm bushing, anything that might have a little bit of movement. If the tires are zeroed out at ride height, they don't know where to go and they try to hunt and they hunt for the loosest spot so if the right hand side of your utv has worn out bushings that's the side that's going to hunt one way or the other and it's going to try and find it if you put a little bit of toe in they're always trying to angle forward it doesn't find a left or a right place to hunt if you tow it out the same is the case but different vehicles and different vehicle geometry would want to be towed out or towed in they're all different. Some of them like it, some of them don't. We found that almost all UTVs prefer tow in as opposed to tow out. Get in NASCAR and other things, you're gonna find them towing it out because they're always turning into something. That's just not what we do in UTVs and off-road, so we don't do that. Mitch? Uh, Ironwood Fab, would a front <laughs> shock relocation bracket for the YXE help with the front end geometry? No, front end geometry on a YXE is not the problem. Don't worry about it. Um, it's, it's good, it works, it's fine. The only problem we have with geometry in the, on a waxy is the rear, because the rear does all the driving. Uh, the rear is where the negative is when it comes to keeping the tire on the ground and pushing that thing forward as opposed to vertical like it likes to do. So uh, rear's the problem, front is not. I wouldn't worry about the front. I got a live one, Big Hemp 21. How do I know you and what is your question? How do I know you? Do you because, know him? Because Chase knows everyone with pot. Yeah. What, what was your question? <laughs> um, I just bought shock therapy with you guys about a year ago, and um, on my Can M X3 Max. Yep. And it seems like my car is lower down after about a year of using it. Okay. No problem. What's your guys' policy when it 
<laughs> so here's what we say in every single one of our spring kit installation videos is our springs are brand new and brand new springs are going to take a set. That set happens one time and one time only throughout the life of the spring. Usually between 100 and 300 miles, the springs will take a set and we want, to, want you to readjust the ride height to accommodate for that and then it should stay there forever. Um, the only time it's not going to be the case is if you start adding more accessories to your UTV, which a lot of people do. They go throw, throw two or three hundred pounds in the thing and they don't realize all the things they bolted to it when they first started. Even if you do that, you can set the ride height again and it's going to manage it forever. So, if, you're, <clears throat> if you've reset the ride height once or twice and it continues to sag, we're going to replace the springs for free. That's our policy, but you do have to adjust it. You have to adjust it before we take a look at it because that's our standard issue with all spring kits. Cool? Yeah, right on, man. Take a look at any of the videos, like our installation video for your car on a spring kit, and it'll, it'll show you all that and show you how to do it. Awesome. Have a good one. Oh, hi, Mitch. Hi. What are you doing? Hall Designs, <laughs> going back to our tow conversation, mm -hmm. turns out slight Turn out slightly helps greatly if you're doing, if you're duning a lot, sorry. Helps with that dune to dune transitioning. So I might agree with you depending on the front tire that you run. Here's the deal with the dunes. Front tires and tow is greatly affected by the tire that you're choosing. Whether it's a razor tire, whether it's a single razor or a triple razor, buffs, uh, molded, not molded, um, there's so many factors with how the front acts and reacts. Um, you do you, however you like it to be, um, but I would suggest if you're in the dunes only, that you try it towed in, you try it towed out, run what you like. How's that? Personal preference. Personal preference. Yes. I mean, some guys like to drive in reverse in the dunes, and they're pretty freaking fast. In which case, I would tow it out. <laughs> <laughs> which would be towed in backwards. <laughs> Does that smoke, smoke your noodle? It's, it's like, pretty good. It's like tow mater. <laughs> tow mater. <laughs> tow mater. Um, so if you don't have any more uh, with you then Chase, I'm going to go back to checking tow. Now, one of the reasons that we're actually looking at both of these Turbo S's, you guys, this is typically how we do a lot of testing around here. We grab the same vehicle, we check both of them um, at the same time. If you take a look at the one on the left, this one right here has factory tie rods and it has a factory rack and pinion. And all we're doing is verifying what this factory setup is on a Turbo S. We want to know what it has for bump steer, we want to know camber gain, and uh, caster as well. And if you look at this one here on the right, it has our tie rod, it also has our billet race rack. It also has a custom tie rod pin. With and what kit. we are doing is we are checking bump steer with our system. We're checking bump steer on the factory system. And that way we can give you something that's coming out soon. And that's gonna be about two months. We'll have a full line of tie rod kits for every vehicle. And these tie rod kits will work both with the factory rack, they'll have upgraded inner joints, or they'll work with our billet rack. You don't have to buy more parts for these, if I'm not mistaken, it'd be the same tie rod. And Along with some of the things that we have patented and protected, you will be able to adjust the bump steer that's possible. I, uh, I should, let me start over. You will be able to adjust, adjust the bump steer that is prevalent in your UTV factory and get rid of it, no matter what is there. So some of these don't have very much. Some have a ton, um, but with our tie rod kit, it'll be adjustable so you can get all the bump out of it completely. Now that's something that doesn't exist anywhere. It's because we we have it protected, and uh, that's coming out in the tie rod kits here real quick. What do you got, Mitch? Rooster Tail Off-Road said he was waiting for our tie rod kits. Well, it's very there soon, man. Um, don't ask me next week how long <laughs> it's going to take, okay? Because I'm going to tell you it's two weeks, or I'm going to tell you it's two months, and uh, right now I'm saying two months. I'm going to stick with that. Maybe ask Mitch how long it's going to take next time. He might have a better... <laughs> uh, Jason better. V144, <laughs> how long are your springs delayed? Uh, springs are not delayed except for one or two part numbers. Yeah, we're just waiting on one or two. What, one or which two ones, springs, what, I believe, what right now. right now are a little bit oh, short. Oh, man. I don't even know. We're that. waiting on one or two springs right now to complete all kits. So you should, on it, they honestly should be here this week, next week. You should be good to go. Okay. 
Um, oh. what, what particular kits do you know? Like, not, you know, like on average, do you have an idea what kits right now are short? <clears throat> no, I would have to go, because one spring could be multiple kits, so. Gotcha. What do you got, got Chase? I got one of our locals on board. <clears throat> Mr. Sparkles, what's going on, man? Jim. It's like you're in the garage. What's up, Jim? <laughs> it is. <laughs> what's up, Jim? Working in the office, so I'm outside. Uh, two questions for you guys today. Yep. As you know, I got your guys full set up on my Pro XP here. Yep. Uh, I am considering adding the spare tire rack, the spare tire for the uh, traveling up north this summer. Mm -hmm. At what point would I need to start thinking about having to change the springs for added weight? Um, my suggestion would be a spare tire rack that's in the bed. You can probably get rid of um, or fix with preload. If you add a spare tire and you do a cooler or toolboxes to that, maybe another 20 or 30 pounds. So most spare tires stock are about 30 pounds, wheel and tire, aftermarket ones are 40 to 50 pounds a wheel and tire. I would say as soon as you're about 70 pounds of tail weight in the back of that thing, you're gonna be changing spring. Prior to that, you could do with preload. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, second question, mm -hmm. is uh, Chase still rocking the cul-de-sac <clears throat> So Chase, not. So, uh, Chase got away from it as fast as he possibly could, yeah. and what he did was he shaved it all off. So he, he you know, the cul-de-sac turned into completely bald. It was getting weird going to the mailbox. Everyone was looking at me weird. I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> they were grabbing their the kids. I did, you know, you know, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I did drop off the kids at school for their last week of school with mm. the cul-de-sac in my head. So it was, it was pretty nice. All the kids were crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was yelling at the teachers. It felt nice. <laughs> Awesome. Mm. Hey, Jim, your hair's on point, though. Yeah. Thank you. Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> like golden Thor locks. Oh, yeah. Jim, you know what to do. Send us that shirt size. <clears throat> Suspension seats or solid seats, Justin? So in the race car, um, in the race car, we run a solid seat. The reason is that suspension seats, as you're racing, um, you get squished farther and farther into the seat and you end up tightening the belt so the belts are loose on you all the time. And eventually you end up tightening the belt so much that you're pushed right through the suspension and you're solid anyway. So we run a solid seat for racing, we run a suspension seat for play. Um, all of our pre-runners and play cars have a suspension seat in them. Uh, race car solid. <clears throat> I got unofficially Frankie on board here. <clears throat> Frankie, what's going on, man? Where you at? What's your question? Hey guys, uh, thanks for putting this on. I uh, just had a quick question with regards to speed UTVs. I know they're not out yet, but when can we expect to start seeing uh, just aftermarket parts in general uh, for those rigs? <clears throat> so I believe that Robbie is um, already working on all the aftermarket parts for those. I have a feeling that speed is going to have the majority of aftermarket parts ready for those the second that they come out in production. So the answer would be the second that they're delivering UTVs for speed, they will have accessories and aftermarket parts for them through speed. Um, it's like anything else, it's going to take two to three months for the rest of the world to get a hold of these and do some other aftermarket parts. Also, um, you know, Robbie's got a lot of that stuff protected with patents as he should. So a lot of the aftermarket parts may not be available or able to be built by anyone but speed. So we'll see. I can't wait for that to come out. Um, I'm excited for it. Wish I had more information for you. No problem. No, that helps. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know it was all internal that way. I figured uh, shop therapy would have their own branding parts. Uh, we, well, we will. Uh, we will. You're, you're right. Um, we're going to have some stuff. But we're not going to step on Robbie's toes either. If he's got a tie rod patented, we're not going to build one. Um, but you know, we have a good relationship with him, and and I'm pretty sure we're going to have a ton of parts. So it's just going to take us a little longer than them because they're already building them. It's going to take us two or three months after we get the car. Totally understandable. Thank you. Appreciate According to Robbie, you don't need any aftermarket parts. That's why you're waiting so long. That's right. <laughs> KTM said too. <laughs> KTM, Honda, Cowie, everybody said that on dirt bikes, right? So Core uh, Bassman is asking about um, four-wheel scales uh, for yep. scaling a car for uh, mm -hmm. spring rates and stuff like that. So um, that always helps. So we, we would always like you to give us your weights and stuff like that, but we know that everyone doesn't have that as an option. So we more or less go off of accessories and things that you have over stock. Um, that is how we determine what spring rate, what spring to put on your car for your kit. So, you know, um, or definitely, definitely give us that stuff. But we also need to know all of your accessories and stuff. I was going to add to that. Yeah. We'll take both. We'll take both. Um, if we've got scale, we want it. 
um, we want your accessory list too. Take the time to fill that out. We'll go with both of those. As much information as possible. Yeah, more the better. Always. I have another good question. Yeah. Um, no, Chase is not getting fired <laughs> in the next five minutes. That was your question? I ask that every day. Every day. <laughs> actually, I've done it a couple times. That's a dream. That's a dream. Um, no, this is actually from uh, Colin. Colin Swift. Um, why is Justin so scared to play pickleball? <laughs> what? <laughs> Colin, are you calling me out, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is all you young fuckers are playing an old man sport, and you're asking the old man to come into this sport and whoop your ass? Well, we're I'm trying in. to learn something. I'm Done. In. I'm in. <laughs> oh, we got to learn something. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is, Colin. That's I, what I tell you, bro. Well, Justin's a little competitive. And I will do, I will, I will throw two bets at you, Colin. One, uh -oh. that I whoop your ass. Second, I drink more than you while whooping your ass. If Justin's making a bet, this is for real, Pete. All valid. <laughs> I, I think All Ernie's valid. over there going, hmm, a week I'm in. Night. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do this. Colin, <laughs> you're <up> tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sore anymore. Here. Yeah, on Ramp subject. Ramp Rat 943, the tie rod kit sounds great. I've been feeling the steering input on my Turbo S and didn't know what it was. Is there anything else we want to brush up on upon this? Yeah, you know, a little bit. I'm, we're going to probably on uh, Tuesday, maybe we'll do um, Tech Tuesday on the difference between bump steer, wheel feedback, and some other things because a lot of people confuse them all together or they they feel like whatever the wheel is doing is bump steer that's not the case bump steer does cause some of that the movement in the wheel is not bump steer that's just feedback <laughs> feedback comes from bump steer it comes from improper shock it comes from improper wheel offset but we're going to go over all that on tuesday so you guys set your alarms for tuesday um, we'll make sure that Chase is showered beforehand so we can all actually pull that off. We'll, pro we'll, we'll, we'll try it. We got Matt Harrington on the line. Matt, what's going on, man? Where are you at? What's your question? Hey, how's it going, man? Good. I'm over here in uh, Colorado. I'm Colorado. Right now. Just gave birth to my son. I didn't give birth to my wife, too. I was going to say, well, that would be a first, sir. That <laughs> would be a first. <laughs> thank, I just want to say thanks for keeping me awake. Hey, and, uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I don't really have a question, man. I just want to say thanks, I guess. You just call, well, what do you, so let me ask you this. What are you actually thanking us for? Are you thanking us for uh, talking too much? You for are you thanking us for making fun of Chase? <laughs> are you, or what is it? Because I, I, I would like to know. It might be because of uh, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> See, all my pain is worth something. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I'm, you know what's cool though? Now at least we it's know that Chase, that, that Chase is the pin cushion that we can all stab to make you happy. I love it. He is from a, a vo he's voodoo. voodoo oh, doll. yeah, that yeah. Chase is very oh, voodoo. we need to get a Chase doll. We need to chase and put him in the doll. freezer and have like stuff tied around shit. his neck. And Look, I know where this is going, sir, and I don't know if you've named your son, but I'm pretty sure CJ or Chase is acceptable. <laughs> All right, dude. Hey, send us uh, send us your shirt size and her shirt size. We want to get your family all, all dripped up with the baby looking awesome, good. Man. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Have a good one, brother. Thanks, man. Have fun in Colorado. All right. See, I like that, you guys. My pain is worth I think, something. I think, uh, I think I'm out of here. The guys probably have a question or two. You want to touch base on anything that's off subject? You want to rip through it? <sighs> Just we're trying. Um, you mean question wise? Yeah, question wise. No, oh, I was gonna go off on something different. Okay. But yeah, yeah, okay, no, no, go, go, you no, go, go for it. it. You go, go for, for it. it. Just uh, there was a question on here about uh, ETS on Turbo S high clearance radius rods. Um, <clears throat> as of right now, I don't have an ETA for you. But what I will tell you is that like this, we're we're always working on that stuff. So as soon as it gets don't closer, don't show me Chase. He's talking. <laughs> As soon as it gets closer to like actually releasing it after being tested and all that stuff, we'll let you guys know. But um, having an ETA for a lot of different things that you guys are asking for is a little tricky right now. But we're working on it, guys. So stay stay tuned for that, I guess. I got a anything ready for the R Max too. R Max, we actually have one coming in 14th. Yeah, the 14th next next month. Um, we'll have that car for two to three weeks. Um, we'll have everything designed and developed and everything for that. So we got a head start on that already. We do, but this is a four seater, so it's gonna be okay, different cool. too. Yep. Um, another one for Mitch. Um, oh, I'm popular. Fox QS3 shocks on a 19 X3, which really doesn't make a difference for this question, but he wants to know recommendations for crossovers front and rear, like heights. Crossover, crossover heights. heights. Uh, I'd say an inch to an inch and a half in the front. Josh. I'm gonna go with two inches in the rear. Uh, there it is. <laughs> um, hey, uh, Josh, where's that measured from, sir? Uh, 
Uh, it's from the ground to the lower. No, that's right height. Crossover. Crossover. Oh. <laughs> Spring divider. So the bottom okay. of your crossover yeah, to the very top yeah, right. of your spring divider. <laughs> uh, about a two inch gap in the rear, inch to inch and a half gap in the front. Now that is adjustable. You can play with that, fine tune it to whatever you like. Um, but those are our starting points, our recommendations for you guys on the initial setup. If you That's will. car settled, car on the ground, driver with weight you in, in the car. car. Yep. Somebody in it. Somebody in it. Any new updates for parts on the 64 inch Matt Burke edition Can Am X3? New parts. Well, we have front uh, front sway bar links. Yeah, we did just come out That's with a new front sway bar links. Front what sway else? Bar links. Uh, that's about it right now. We all, we've always had the shock package and the spring package. IQS, we've, yeah, IQS, IQS rods, mm -hmm. rear bar, rear link. link it. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of stuff. We got lots of stuff for that. How about this? If you have a suggestion for parts, and let us know what you need. Try not to pick something that Chase would like. I don't know, like a sparkly keychain. We're not going to make that. <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> Um, anything else? We can get out of here. Thoughts <laughs> on aftermarket live valve system? Uh, like what? Like, I'm assuming like Turbo S or Dynamics or anything live valve related. Did you say aftermarket? Or aftermarket, yeah. Thoughts on what? Aftermarket live so valve. So I guess I need to be more specific on that question. Did they ask for an aftermarket live valve or a live yeah, valve system? More specific. I Way said more. thoughts on an aftermarket live valve system. That's all I got. Well, I think that anything live valve is a good thing. So whether it's factory or whether it's aftermarket are great. Um, I would suggest both. You have somebody on. Who you got? We got someone on. We got Marfire. Looks and like he might be having a little bit of a connect. Oh, there you are. What's going on, man? What's your question? Where are you at? Nice hat. Hey, I'm still in uh, Abasu. Just saw Steve last week here. I talked about the uh, boat launch as I was pulling the boat out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, man? I remember you. How's it going? Good, I yelled at you. Hey, Steve. <laughs> I'll see you August 11th for my appointment. Hey, you had an appointment for like next month, right? I do, I do. You had the, you, you the deck boat with a whole bunch of friends in there? It looked like a good party. Yeah, it was a good party. The party's still going on. We're at the boathouse right now. Happy lunch watching you guys. Awesome, awesome, man. I, I, I tune in every week, so. Hey, uh, the question I was asking you was screaming across the, uh, off the boat as I was pulling the boat out. <laughs> Driving away was uh, that Halo front diff. I have the, uh, the uh, a 19 uh, Can Am um, X3 um, XRC Triple. Get some good shots and, of Mitch uh, over here. I wanted to put that 33 spline kit for the front because I'm getting the work done at your shop on, in August, mm -hmm. and I wanted to bulletproof that front end. And I bought the RZB uh, knuckles for the front and rear, mm -hmm. and I know there's something I have to do to. To, uh, you said to make that work with the RCB axles and that halo kit, and I wasn't really sure what I needed to get before I brought it in to you so I could have it set up. So I didn't hear you properly on the boat ramp, and what I was telling you is that you have to have the axle for that front diff. So it sounds like you've got the stub for 33 spline. Since you already have that, that's the only thing you have to have. Everything else internally is not going to affect anything else, it's just going to be inside that diff. So as long as you got knuckles uh, to convert uh, 33 spline to the factory axle, or if you're buying a complete RCV front axle kit, either way, uh, that's all you need in your, your home run. We, write, we race that system in our race car, and it's worked out great for us. We've never had any blown up CV axle issues since we've run it. <coughs> Right, and that's Steve, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to set, basically, copy your friend in. <laughs> no problem, now, now all I gotta do, now all I gotta do is keep you from copying my right foot and you'll keep the car together. <laughs> well, mine's, mine's pretty heavy, so yeah, that's the problem. You know? Well, you're doing, you're doing the right thing because the front diffs are super weak and, and we went that direction and it worked out great. Sounds awesome. Well, thanks for the info. I'll make sure I, I grab that before I get the car brought in. Sounds good, man. How about a t-shirt size and a collar? I'll have Chase send it to you, um, I hope. First, uh, yeah, maybe a couple months. Second, enjoy your uh, the rest of the trip. Going to be a bunch of people out there for uh, for Memorial, right? But have a good right. time on the boat. Be safe out there. Hey, nice boat, too. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Gave away my secret. No one was say, supposed for, to know where I was. For those paying attention, you might know where Justin has been getting this tan line this whole time now. Mm. And I don't know what I like more is that he's calling you Steve. Or that I, I, that's amazing. 
Look at, we miss you, Steve. Everyone's thinking that Justin is you. I will take it. If people call me Steve, that's a that's like a step up for me because Steve is freaking hilarious, and I wish I wish I had Steve's attitude all damn day. He's awesome. It's not as broken schmeck. No broken schmeck. Uh, I will pass on that for sure. And uh, Steve certainly is not Chase, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chase. I'm I'm deep up in you right now because I've been say, gone for two weeks. He did say my bad for calling you Steve. That's all good. I answered all of it. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I get Ernie a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, we're gonna get out of here. I will leave you with one thing. If you're kind of a techie, then this is kind of a heads up for what we're gonna do on Tuesday. Chase. Maybe not so close, but what we're going to do <laughs> is I'm going to lower the car down a little bit, okay, bud? Okay. We're going to look at that plate. Gotcha. And what I want you guys to look at, the reason we have these on towels is so they can slide on the ground. But when you lower the car, you'll see this plate slide width-wise. That is called track width scrub. When that pulls in or out, that means you have no traction, and that's part of geometry uh, right there. Proper geometry See gets it? rid of that, yeah. makes it so Go you can in. drive the thing Watch a little bit better. And we've actually talked about this already on the board a couple of times. We're going to go into that on Tuesday. So if you guys want to tune in for that, everybody else. See you later, I think. Mitch was worried. <laughs> what was I going to do? <laughs> you were worried right. about that? We no, thought no, she was no, coming no, off. No, nothing, nothing. <laughs> if you guys would like to order any parts from the website, feel free to visit us at www.shocktherapyusa.com. Right? That's right, Chase? It. Or give, give us, us a call, call at 623-217-4959. Steve, Steve, Thanks, Steve. I got you. Have a good one, Stevie.